Hey guys, Pepsi here, and it's another raw vegan day. Woo. Okay, so today I actually wanted to try another GT's. It's alive. So the alive root beer was so good. It's ancient mushroom elixir, tasted like root beer, made some root beer floats. Very good. But they had two other flavors. So today is gonna be this guy, matcha vanilla. Ooh, look at him. Yes, so this one I thought, let's give it a shot. Honestly, I don't really like matcha. I love green teas, except matcha. It's so powerful. It's kind of, to me, chalky, grass-like. Um, just not my favorite, but I do love vanilla. And the last alive beverage was so good. I'm like, maybe this is tasty somehow, some way. Okay, so I just opened it up very carefully with my knees. And let's try this guy, matcha vanilla. Ah! I don't hate it. <laughs> it's funny because the last one I had is root beer. And it really, really tasted like a root beer soda. This one's kind of creamy, like a cream soda. But again, not with all the sweetness that you would expect in like a traditional soda or cream soda. So the matcha is not too heavy. Um, it just, yeah, it kind of, the matcha vanilla flavor, what is it? it really tastes like, like an earthy, creamy soda, if that makes sense. Imagine cream soda, less sugar, more earthiness. <laughs> but it's not bad. I don't know if I would buy this again, maybe. If someone bought it for me, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I think I will have that. But would I buy it myself? Mm, I mean, the root beer one was just better. <laughs> and if you do like root beer, you'll love it. So we got one more to try and then we'll see how that one goes. But so far the Alive brand has just been really a success because this thing is supposed to be all about the mushrooms. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a mushroom, which is great because I don't know, mushroom bubbly juice doesn't sound as good as these flavors. All right, so until next time guys, bye.